This is MathGuide.com and my name is Mark Karadimos. In this video we're going to talk about how to solve quadratic equations and we're going to use the method of graphing. The sections within this video are going to be what is a quadratic equation and there's going to be two examples. Alright, so let's talk about what a quadratic equation is. So this is a quadratic equation because it has a square that is the highest power that you see on this single variable expression. So in other words there's only x and the highest power is 2 and we know that the word quadrilateral right, has that word quad meaning four sides and here we have a quadratic refers to a square. Really squares have four sides so that's the connection between there. So anything that has an equal sign and it contains a single variable highest power squared we're talking that is a quadratic equation alright so let's get to our first example so here's our quadratic equation and our first example is going to be to solve it right so we want to solve it and we're going to use graphing as our method so what we do when we graph this is graph this in two different parts so we're going to graph the left side of the equation and that's going to be our first function and then we're going to graph the second side of the equation this is going to be our second function so what I'm going to do is in other words graph both sides separately on the same coordinate plane now I'm going to use a TI Inspire calculator there's many calculators out there that do uh, an equally good job. You got Casio's, Hewlett Packard, and so on. I'm not advocating any particular type of calculator. I'm just going to put one up here uh, that's convenient at the moment for me to use. All right, so what I'm going to do is graph them. So here we have the coordinate plane, and what I'm going to do now is plug in that left side. So I just got myself a new document calculator and putting in x, oh, let's see, x squared. Uh, plus x was the left side of our equation. I'm going to hit enter. You can see that any time you've got a square, uh, that square gives you a U shape to the graph. So it's got this curved shape. All right, so there's our left side. Now I'm going to hit tab and graph the second, which is our right side of the equation, which was just 6. So I'm going to hit enter. And you can see that y equals 6 is a horizontal line. So what I want to do is figure out where does the blue, that's the left side of the curve, meet the red, which is the right side of the curve. And you can see where they intersect, where the blue and the red come together. So I want to find those. Now the way the, this calculator does it, you have to hit Menu, Analyze Graph, Intersection. It's asking me for a lower bound. So when I want to find this point right here, I have to go left of the point. There's my lower bound, hit Enter. I have to sweep right and hit enter again for my upper bound and you can see then I get this answer so that is the location where the blue and red cross on the left side so let's get the right side so I'm going to do this again menu analyze graph intersection so I want to get that point right there so I go left of it as my lower bound sweep right to get my upper bound and again you can see that I have an intersection point okay so what I want to do now is write down some key values. Now the original problem had just x's in it. So I only really care about the x value of this point and then the x value of the other point. It's the only two points or two values I care about are the x values. So there you have it. I've got negative 3 and 2. So this means that our two answers are x equals negative 3 and x equals 2. So there you have it. I've got my two solutions to this quadratic equation. Here's another quadratic equation. So here's our quadratic equation, our second one. And again, what we're going to do is graph the two sides of this equation separately. So this is going to be our first function. This is going to be our second function. So I'm going to graph those separately. Okay, so let's go to the graphing calculator again. Okay, so again, uh, I'm going to hit tab to go to my first function, hit x squared.
squared uh, was minus 12. It's our first function. So again, we have a U shape. There's that classic U shape of the blue curve. And now I'm going to hit tab, open up that bottom line there, and I'm going to put in the right side, which was X. Hit enter. Of course, that's a linear function, so we see the line. Now again, we want to find out where the blue and red come together. That's the intersection, and we'll find those two points, which you can see quite clearly in the graph. Again, you hit menu, analyze graph, intersection. Since I want to find this point, I go left of it for the lower bound, right of it for the upper bound. It's basically the calculator needs to know where to search, and that's what you're doing, is you're kind of limiting the search. So I want to search over here, so I hit menu, analyze graph, intersection. So I want to tell it to go search from here, left of that point, to sweep right, right of the point. So you're telling the calculator where to search, and you get that point. So of course, the values again, since we're only solving for x, is we look at the x values of those points. So you can see the x values are going to be negative 3 and 4. All right, so we found out that x equals negative 3, x equals 4. And there you go. Those are our two solutions to the problem. So graphing is a fairly easy uh, method to use, and as long as you're familiar with your graphing calculator and its functionality, it's a fairly easy process to solve quadratic equations. Okay, so make sure you go back to mathguide.com, check out all our other interactive quizzes, our instructional videos, and text-based lessons. Take care.